Nearly every week, astronomers publish the discovery of a planet beyond our solar system. But in February 2012, an international team of scientists has confirmed the existence of a very special planet, which could have the perfect conditions for supporting life. The Earth-like planet is orbiting around a red dwarf star in 28 days and has just the right distance to its home star for a moderate climate. This means water on the planet should be liquid, and the surface temperatures are expected to be similar to the Earth. The planet, called Gliese 667cc, is about 22 light-years away from the Earth. The habitable planet was found by an international team of astronomers. Therefore, they have analyzed the data of the telescope HARPS. The High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planetary Searcher is one of the world's best extrasolar planet hunters. It is situated in the southern part of the Atacama Desert in Chile. Detecting this planet was a time-consuming process. It could only be found in an indirect way, with the radio velocity method. This technology is also known as Doppler spectroscopy and involved the measurement of the small wobbles in a star's orbit in response to a planet's gravity. This leads to variations in the speed. The star moves toward or away from the Earth. The radial velocity can be deducted from the shift in the spectra lines of the host star. This is the so-called Doppler effect. State-of-the-art telescopes are able to measure these tiny wavelength shiftings and can indirectly confirm the presence of a planet. For years, Michel Mayor of the University of Geneva in Switzerland has been leading the team of HARPS. It is actually the perfect machine to discover these tiny planets. It is able to measure variations in the radial velocity, which are much less than walking speed. HARPS has a 3.6-meter ground-based telescope and has been constantly upgraded over the last years, so that HARPS is being pushed to a level searching more directly for rocky planets that could support life. This telescope has helped researchers of the ESO, European Southern Observatory, to discover more than 50 new extrasolar planets in just one month. The largest number of such planets ever announced at one time. Astronomers of ESO assume that every star in our galaxy has at least one planet, many of them are located in a habitable zone. The main activity of our research group is the search and study of very small planets, planets with the mass of the Earth or just a bit more. Our work will be the basis for future space missions, which will look for extraterrestrial life. With a new generation of instruments, researchers will be able to analyze many similar stars with habitable planets and eventually look for signatures of life in one of these worlds.